We will we forever be be split that consciousness, individual consciousness, or will we uh, ever in the future uh, unify in some way with God, or uh, have we always been uh, units? Magical question. How am I to answer this? It's all in the hands of God. But if you wish to be one with Him, He may allow you. But if you wish to be an eternal servant of Him, there's no way He's going to do away with you. Since He already created our individuality, I mean, I'm just a single little individual unit without much of any capacity, and still even I'm attached to everybody I know. It's amazing how much attachment capacity is there in your heart. I actually feel attached. Anybody I know, I want to see them again and again and again and again and again. You got it, love. Not, I, not only I want to see them, but I want to see that they are well, they are growing. And I want to make plans with them for beautiful things. So, therefore, individuality is the greatest gift. If you don't have individuality, you can't appreciate anybody. You couldn't appreciate God either if you're not an individual unit. So I think. Greater than the universe is the uni individuality, because if the universe is matter, of course behind this matter there was a tree, and the tree was conscious, so it's, it's another stage of observance. But let's call inert matter, call it inert matter, not self-moving matter. Uh, that's kind of boring. And if you get any amount of it, it doesn't make any difference. Let's say you have a universe full of wood. Well, it's still boring. A universe full of gold is also boring. But one living entity is not boring. So the unit, the conscious unit is, has a highest category. So if God has given that to us, we must have some good reason for that. It's nine o'clock already. We went so fast. So we invite you for some prashad. I'm so happy you have come here today. And very grateful to the devotees of the Swedish Yatra.